We're going to begin with Forbes magazine just debuting their list of the 100 most powerful women in the world for 2019. And among the elite, Rihanna, who has made her debut on the list, even ahead guys of Beyonce and Taylor Whoa. Swift. Congratulations wow. to her. Her Fenty empire, and I do call it an empire now, generating an estimated $570 million in the last year alone. Also making the list for the first time this year, Reese Witherspoon, who has become quite the force both in front and behind the camera. Oprah Winfrey is on the list. She comes in at number 20. Not a shocker there. And the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, 93 years young, comes in at number 40. You can see the complete list of women ballers yes. at Forbes.com. Like that. <laughs> That's how we roll, George. Yeah. Um, also <laughs> popping this morning, yesterday we told you that ABC's Live All in the Family cast is returning for a holiday encore this season with a taste of Mr. Kevin Bacon, who will join the ensemble along with a few more new ads. And this morning, executive producer Jimmy Kimmel is letting us in on the cast of the live episode of the 70s hit Good Times. And let me just say, this is gonna be a good time. We're talking Viola Davis and Andre wow. Brower of Brooklyn Nine-Nine <laughs> as Flo Florida and James Evans, the parents of the working class Chicago family. Saturday Night Live alum Jay Farrow will play their oldest son, J.J. Walker, known for his catchphrase, Michael. Dying no mice. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Tiffany Haddish is Whoa. joining the cast. She'll play one of my favorite characters. I remember the neighbor, Walona Woods. It all happens at 8 p.m. Eastern on December 18th. That morning, you can catch an exclusive preview right here on GMA. That's Thank you, Jimmy fun. Kimmel, That's for giving be. us that. We love you. And finally this morning, Selena Gomez and Harry Styles are also trending. Gomez giving us an early Christmas present, revealing the name, the track list, and the artwork for her upcoming album. It's called Rare. There it is. She says on Instagram, quote, it's the most honest mu music I've ever made. I cannot wait for you to hear my heart. The track list gives us a little idea about the tone of the record with songs like Vulnerable, Cut You Off, and Dance Again. I love that. The album drops January 10th. Harry Styles also in the news. His new album, Fine Line, is out this morning. Fans and critics agree it's more than fine. Esquire magazine calls it outrageously good. A candid autobiography written in Technicolor rock and roll. I thought that was such a great description. Rolling Stone has dubbed Harry Styles a rock god and a gentleman. I think it's worth a listen, guys. Fine Line is out now. And that's all news today. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.